This was the very last thing that my DJI Phantom 4 Pro saw before it crashed to the bottom of a 120 foot tree. I'm going to show you how I salvaged the gimbal and put it onto a new airframe to get the aircraft flying again, but first I thought you might enjoy the video from the day of the crash. Today was a bad day. Thousand bucks fell through a tree from 120 feet. <laughs> this is my Phantom 4 version 1.0 DJI drone, or what's left of it. The other day I was flying it sideways in a state where there were no leaves on the trees and the drone didn't seem to know that the tree had no leaves and it flew right into it. And so it broke off the props and it fell 120 feet and I think it hit every single branch on the way down. I was really grateful that it actually made it to the ground despite all the damage because then I got my memory chip back. So. I was thinking 1600 bucks just went to waste, but I get to keep the battery and it still seems functioning. It doesn't have any damage. And I think I might get to keep the gimbal, um, despite the fact that it's got a little wear and tear. You can see there's some marks on it <laughs> from falling through the tree. But when I boot this up and attach my controller to it, I can see through the camera, I can pan the camera and um, pitch the camera and everything else. So I'm going to hope that I can fix it. And I'm going to do that by removing the existing gimbal assembly. And I'm going to take that poor baby out of the way and I'm going to bring in this guy, which is another DJI 1.0. But this one I bought brand new, um, no wear and tear. As far as I can tell, it's never even had, never even had a battery installed. Um, and I'm going to put that gimbal assembly into this device and see if I can make this one pick up where that one left off. And I'm going to take you with me. Let's go. So this has eight Allen head screws holding in the gimbal assembly. I have a little screwdriver set with all the tiny little screws for electronics. And the one that fits is this 1.5 millimeter hex head. So I got a couple of different types of spudgers that I've had from working on cell phones for so long, just to make sure I can pry it up without scratching anything underneath or exerting extraordinary force. And there has to be a ribbon cable holding this right there. I'm going to turn it around so you can see the ribbon a little better. So here's the whole gimbal assembly by comparison to the drone that it's going into. Same setup. So all I got now is a regular Phillips head screw holding the ribbon cable down. Okay, so this is actually the triple zero. The other one was probably a double lot. That fits perfectly, does the job. Magnet gets the screw back. That's the other side of the ribbon cable. You can see it's keyed, so it only goes in one way. The gimbal, although fallen through a tree, seemed like it was in pretty good shape. What I'm really worried about is that the aircraft does its job, because I can always get another camera, but I don't want to take any chances with another crash. So that's all I need from this guy. I'm gonna set him aside and be very sad that he had a short life. All right, so ribbon cable goes back under the bracket. 
I have another bracket on this device. So even though I need to reuse my screws for the gimbal, I don't have to reuse the ones for this bracket. Now time to swap the gimbal. I just looked at it a second ago and I saw that this bracket here was pushed up a tiny bit and I pressed it and it made a snap noise and went back down in place. So I may have pulled on that trying to get the gimbal out or it may be that this gimbal fell through a tree. So either way, you might keep an eye on that and see if yours is in place when you go to snap it down. Again, the ribbon cable is keyed so it fits in only one way and pretty cleanly. Right now the whole gimbal is just kind of hanging by that ribbon cable, so I'm being careful. Both of those are snug. It's clearly snapped in. This guy hasn't moved. Set it right back in place. Try not to push down on the rotors while you're snapping this down. You heard that pretty audible click as it came into place. Okay, that's all eight screws. Other than the <laughs> minor tree wear and tear. Um, it looks like a new gimbal. Okay, new body, old gimbal, let's see. Those are all the things I expected to do, so I'll give it a flight and see how it works out. Thanks for watching.